So, I'm out in the ocean, and I really want to do a better job at this. I wanted to do it when I had a bunch of traffic, and maybe I'll do a follow up with some traffic. But I want to show you my Ferrono radar, which it's wireless, it's right there. And then underneath, underneath there, I have the Vesper Marine 8000 wired in, which goes obviously to one of my antenna. The Vesper is a AIS transmitter and receiver. And then this radar dish that creates a wireless hotspot. I'm gonna go down and show you the tablet. At least it's a lovely day out here on the ocean to show you the tablet. So in here is my iPad. And my iPad is running TZ iBoat, which has been absolutely wonderful. I've been on this particular trip um, for 339 miles in one day and 10 hours so far. I've got another 20 hours left. And this is how I have mine configured. I have it with a speed over ground, my magnetic compass, my coordinates, the current tide and weather information. Um, here's my radar overlay because the TZI boat does layers. So you have your map, then you have your radar, and you have your AIS that all layers on top of each other. And if you want to do different layers, let's just say you want to look at the current, you would come in here and select your current. You can put these little markers in there. And then when you hit done, so there's your current in the area. You could also do other things. Let's see what else we got in there. We have weather, we have wind, we have waves. Let's look at some waves. As you can see, it's there's nothing out here. This is all blue, which is nothing, which is great. And you have these. I'm, I'm using uh, raster. I like raster a lot better. It's an actual picture of the of the map. And I like it because it's a lot easier to see the, the, the information that's there, such as bridges or what's going on with these obstructions and fisheries and all that stuff is just really laid out. For example, like the maps. So this might tell you what's going on there. That's why I like the, the raster one. But I wanted a quick some more settings too and show you this. Here's where I would set my AIS stuff. Um, so here's my targets, which is my AIS. And that's they're set to overlay. And then my radar. Which setting the rain off is usually best. If you don't have the rain off you miss all the small boats. <clears throat> well, I'm gonna zoom out and see if I can catch an AIS target. Uh, there's some right there. So there's the radar, and there's an AIS target. So we want to know something about him. Get my finger out of the way. You just click on him, and it tells you. We're doing 10 knots, and this particular one, that's all it's telling me. It depends on what you're doing. Bigger ships usually put more information in there. There's another one right there. Happy heart. Happy heart. They're just sitting there. That's the advantage of the AIS. So last night I got a call on the radio at 3 o'clock in the morning. And um, it was another boat and they had changed course. And were basically set a collision course for me. And they were in a okay. sailboat. And they called me on the radio to make sure that I saw them and that I was going to move out of their way because they were going to run into me. Um, so I did, didn't think much. I just turned my autopilot like three degrees to right and I passed behind. But at some point, the AIS told me I was going to be 39 yards away from them. We're out here 
10 miles in the ocean, and I managed to be 39 miles away from another sailboat. So, anyway, at least I had it. If I hadn't seen it, didn't have it, then who knows? I might have run into them. But there's my little quick, quick showing. 